Are you a home owner or you are about to build your dream home and you want to know the standard window sizes in residential buildings? If you don't fall into any of this category but you still want to know what are the standard window sizes in residential buildings, then stick to the end of this video because at the end of this video, you are not only going to know what are the standard window sizes in residential buildings, but you are also going to know how window manufacturers will find the standard sizes of your window. You will need to know that not all window sizes are the same. Usually, bathroom and kitchen windows will vary in size. Also, picture or bay windows will also be of varying sizes. Now you understand this, let's now take a look at the standard sizes for different type of windows. Depending on when your home was built, it will either have a vinyl or wood window. These type of windows are the largest and greatest in standard window sizes and they are prefabricated which can come in different sizes. So the standard sizes of this type of windows will come with a width from 18 inches to 48 inches and a height from 18 inches to 38 inches. And wood windows are not that popular today because of the rot that can occur around the frame of the window after some years. Single hung windows along with double hung windows are the most common and basic windows. These single hung windows look like two windows that are attached and mounted vertically. This type of window is the type which will either slide up or we open at, while one window panel will remain stationary at a time. Now this is how it will look like. And single hung window sizes will come in 24 inches by 36 inches. 24 inch is the height, while 36 inch is the width. They can also come in 24 by 46 inches, 28 by 54 inches, 28 by 66 inches, 28 by 70 inches, 34 by 46 inches, and 34 by 62 inches. So these are the standard window sizes for single bunk windows. Double hung windows also look like two windows that are attached or mounted vertically. And this type of window is mostly used for living areas and bedrooms. The sizes of this type of windows are 24 by 36 inches, 24 by 46 inches, 28 by 54 inches, 28 by 66 inches, 28 by 70 inches, 34 by 46 inches or 34 by 62 inches. So these are the standard window sizes for double hung windows. Gliders or better known as sliding windows have two glass panels which are placed side by side. Although they can be used anywhere in the house, you will mostly find this type of windows in bathroom or in a porch. Standard slicing window sizes are 24 by 23 inches, 36 by 36 inches, 48 by 24 inches or 48 by 36 inches. So these are the standard window sizes for glider or sliding windows. Standard window sizes for casement windows come in a wide variety. Casement windows are either single frame or double frame. They are also either horizontal or vertical. Some casement windows do not have screens on them, but the ones that do have screens are open using a hand crank. And the casement windows are generally found in kitchens, basements, bathrooms and attics. And if you don't know what attics mean, attics are the space between the roof and the ceiling of the 
highest floor of the house. So that is the meaning of attics. Casement windows have standard casement window sizes of 21 by 45 inches or 21 by 53 inches. Basement windows are usually shorter than standard house window sizes and they have to fit in the small space between the top of the concrete foundation and the ground which the house sits on. Most basement windows are sliders, casement windows or vent windows. Also, some basement windows do not open at all and they are stationary. Standard window sizes for basement windows will come in 32 inch width and ranges in height from 15 inches to 24 inches. So these are the standard window sizes for basement windows. Most kitchen windows are casement windows, although depending on when the home was built, they could easily still have single hung or double hung windows. And kitchen window size is determined by the size of the kitchen and the necessity for natural light. Newer homes have larger custom kitchen windows that are casement windows. And these are not standard window sizes and they are therefore considered to be custom windows. Standard kitchen window sizes will include 21 by 45 inches, 21 by 53 inches, 25 by 35 inches, 29 by 47 inches or 29 by 59 inches. So these are the standard window sizes for kitchen windows. Standard bedroom window sizes can differ from era to era. Within the past 20 years, larger windows that allow natural sunlight to come into the bedroom are more popular and because of this, larger standard bedroom window sizes are mostly used. Older homes, however, will still have smaller standard bedroom window sizes. Unless the windows are specialty or custom, it should be relatively easy to locate common window sizes that your home needs. And the standard window sizes for bedrooms are generally 24 by 36 inches, 24 by 46 inches, 28 by 54 inches, 28 by 66 inches, 28 by 70 inches, 34 by 46 inches or 34 by 62 inches and they are either single hung or double hung windows. So here you have it. These are the standard window sizes in residential buildings. So like I promised in the beginning of the video, I said you are also going to know how window manufacturers will determine the standard window size of your window. So now let's take a look at this. For homeowners like you, manufacturers have simplified the entire window sizing process which will help you to find the standard window sizes you need for your home. Let's first of all take a look at the size notation you should be familiar with for window sizes. Now for example, a 2426 replacement window we have a width of 2 feet 4 inches and a height of 2 feet 6 inches. So what this basically means is that manufacturers tend to add half an inch to this measurement so as to give plenty of room for installing the windows. So for example, if your window notation indicates a 44 inch by 44 inch opening, meaning in actuality it will probably measure 43 and a half inch by 44 and a half inch. So this half inch adjusts for room on the either side of the window in order for the room to operate properly and also for flashing materials. And 
if you don't know what are flashing materials. Window flashing materials are basically those materials which will connect the wall and the windows. When measuring the window to determine the standard size, you will need to find out what is the rough opening. So by definition, the rough opening is going to be the measurement from the inside of one side of the window frame to the other side. So here you have it. This is how manufacturers we find the standard sizes for your window. So here you have it. I hope you now get to know the different standard window sizes and also how manufacturers will find the standard sizes of your window. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel Inno Tutorial to get more civil engineering construction videos like this. And also, Hit the like button if you found this video useful, I will really appreciate that. Thanks for watching, you all have a good and a wonderful day. God bless you all, bye bye.